I'm Rebecca Smith. I've been helping high achieving kids and teens improve focus, reduce anxiety, build confidence, increase motivation, bounce back more quickly, among other things, for over 15 years. I'm going to give you some tips in this quick video that are going to help you get the results you want out of your membership. This is how you get your happy, healthy, successful kid back. Here's a quote by one of my favorite people, the late Brian Clemmer. He says, how you do anything is how you do everything. Think to yourself, do you start things and not see them through, or are you a finisher? Now's the time to make a commitment to show up and participate. If you can do it here, you'll see those results elsewhere in your life. If you notice yourself struggling, use it as an opportunity for personal growth. Be a student of yourself through this process of helping your child. Context. This is another thing I get from Brian Clemmer. Think of yourself like a bowl and your children like jelly beans in the bowl. Of course, they are their own separate entities, but you help hold the environment that dictates a lot of what their mindset is going to be like and what their environment is like. So what do you want to see from them? You have to model the behavior that you want to see from them. Gandhi says, be the change you want to see in the world. School, teachers, friends, of course, they all have an impact, but the way you show up in life has a direct correlation to how your child shows up. You impact their mindset so significantly. So keeping that in mind, a lot of the work we'll do is actually, actually going to be for you to do, and then you'll be the one who gets to carry that into your life and model that behavior for your child. The three most important concepts that you'll need to grasp in order to get the most out of your membership are context, which we already talked about, willingness, and commitment. I tell kids not to start anything if they don't plan on seeing it through. If I have a gymnast who's not sure if she's going to go for something, I tell her don't start because we don't want to set a precedent of you going halfway and bailing out. Instead, I'd have her set achievable bite-sized goals that she knows she'll follow through on so that she can build a confidence ladder to success. Your job is to do the same thing. You have to be willing to get outside your comfort zone, setting the context for them to do the same. And you also have to commit to setting bite-sized goals along the way and staying accountable to the community. If this doesn't sound like something you're willing to do, you have two options. You can send your kid into the vault to learn what they wanna learn on their own. Or you might consider doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. I can help set the context for your child myself and get them on their way so that you don't have to be involved. But obviously if you're here, I'm assuming that you're ready to take on the challenge. It's gonna be an amazing bonding experience with your child that can set you both up for success as long as you're willing to get outside your comfort zone. One place I'd love to direct you first is to the Peak Performance Parenting eCourse. No matter if your child is completely resistant to mental toughness training or if they're like, yes, mom, teach me how, then this is a great place to go. It starts with an intro and then goes through why kids don't compete like they practice, the science behind it, then determining your child's readiness for change. You know, this is really going to be helpful, especially if your kid is a little bit resistant or if you're not sure if your child is really going to be willing to commit to make those changes. Then we go into communicating effectively with your child, giving you some concrete strategies to be a better support system for your child. And then finally, we'll introduce the parent-led mental toughness training. So this is a great place to go first before you start into doing exercises with your child. But of course, you know your child better than I do. And if, you're, if you feel like you're ready to go, then by all means. Check this out and look out for other courses that are going to be added all the time in the training forum. Now your next steps. If you haven't already, head over and introduce yourself and ask us a question. Also, check out the Mental Toughness Training Forum. This is where all your resources are going to be. And remember, it's not a static community. If you don't see something that addresses your child's unique problem, post about it in the forums and I will create it for you as soon as I can. Also, let us know your plan. Run it by us in the forums. Then try it out with your child and check back in to let us know how it went. Share your successes, what you noticed, what you learned, and what you're committed to as far as helping your child. Also, plan to participate regularly. Set a reminder in your phone that at the beginning of the week, 
you're going to check in and see how others are doing. Perhaps you have a time every week where you're waiting or you're sitting at a game or you're waiting at practice. Have that be the time that your alarm goes off and you pop in onto the forums and just check in. You never know, your unique experience could help alleviate the suffering of a fellow sport parent or someone else might have a bit of valuable advice that gets you through a potentially difficult situation with your child. If you get stuck on what to say after a tough competition, that's a great time to ask us, oh my gosh, this just happened, what do I do? We will guide you through it. Like anything in life, you get out of it what you put in. That's it for now. Here's to happy, healthy, successful athletes.